Hey everybody, we're here today with Susie Mundy. I had to think about that for a moment. <laughs> M-O-N-D-A-Y. Exactly. Yeah, just like the day of the week. You are really innovative because I've learned that you use a really special innovative technique to get your quilts done. I do. I use my iPad. <laughs> That's amazing to me. With all of our smart devices that we've got today, you're using your iPad. So how do you use your iPad to make or design a quilt? Well, I take photos and I do drawings of things that interest me and inspire me. And then I alter them using different apps. Okay, photos I understand, but doing drawings, are you drawing on your iPad? I'm drawing on my iPad using mainly a simple program called Drawing Pad. Okay, so there are those apps that are out there, and in the Drawing Pad, or even in the photo apps, are they expensive? Oh no, $2.99, okay. $3.99 is kind of so the max. So what is your favorite app? My very favorite right now that I'm using is called Emma Engine, and it is like a special effects app that does wonderful vector photo uh, versions of your photographs, and you push a button, it gives you different colors, you can reduce the number of colors to two or three, you can make a line drawing, you can do a high contrast silhouette, all of those become these exciting sort of images to use as quilt backgrounds. I'm a Photoshop guy mm -hmm. and we chatted before we started rolling cameras. You're like, that is, it's just too much for right. most people, right? So this is really manageable at the push of a button for the most part. Exactly, a push of a button, but also each little app does one little snippet of what Photoshop does. My problem, I'd turn on Photoshop and I couldn't remember how to get what I oh, wanted it to do, sure. even though I had taken a class in it, you know, three years ago. So this uh, is, it's much simpler. So, all right, so you've worked on your image, you've got your cool little rendering mm -hmm. of whatever. What's the next step? You've got to get this out of the iPad. Right. Next step, I generally size it on my desktop computer because if I sent it from my iPad directly to a printing company, which is what I do, it would be too small. So I'll size it on my computer and then I send it to Spoonflower or one of the other print-on-demand fabric companies that actually prints you yardage based on your designs. Okay, and do those companies, do they have guidelines for sizing? Yes, they do and they tell you how to do it and <laughs> it's it's pretty much a, a still again a push button kind of manner of, oh, of pressing it on there and especially if you have a Macintosh because it gives you in preview you can set the number of pixels, you can set the size of in, how many inches across, so it's very easy. Just, just make it, 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 that's the thing is that I think sometimes we get so hung up on those things can be so difficult, but they're not so difficult. Right. All right, so Spoonflower has printed your fabric, what, 40, 40 inches, wide. something wide. Yeah. So it's a fairly good sized mm -hmm. piece of cloth. Um, what if you wanted it to be bigger? You could do two halves of the same image and then seam them down the middle and kind of disguise the seam with various other pieces of fabric. Well, I was looking at this piece that's behind mm -hmm. us. This is not just a printed piece of fabric that's then stitched or quilted, you've got applique and other things on it. Yes. So your fabric is kind of the base for what you're going to do on top of. Is that that's how correct. I'm I, it? I basically do fused raw edge applique and I use that background photo to add on top of. And you know it's very simple. You almost can just little trace little parts of it. You want to have other colors and add them on. I think it's fabulous. I mean, and I could even see where you could like print a, a fabric picture and then you could even have another picture that you want to print so you get the same kind of colors for mm -hmm. applique that you're not having to always go to your stash. You're kind of creating right. your own stash from the from the fabric that you created on an iPad. Exactly, exactly. And if uh, I came from a surface design background, and the thing that I'm finding as I get older, lugging those buckets of dye is getting harder and harder. <laughs> lugging an iPad is really easy. That's great. Everyone, this is Susie Mundy. If you want to find out more about Susie, visit her website, look at her wonderful artwork, and thank you so much for sharing your excitement with us. Okay, thank you for having me. My pleasure.